independent of the name of Lord Vishnu. Number three, to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. Number four, to blaspheme the Vedic scriptures or scriptures in pursuance to the Vedic version. Number five, to consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be an imagination. Number six, to give some interpretations to the holy name of the Lord. Number seven, to commit sinful activities on the strength of the holy name. Number eight, to consider the chanting of Hare Krishna as one of the auspicious ritualistic activities which are offered in Vedas as fruitative activities, Karmakanda. Number nine, to instruct a faithless person about the glories of the holy name. Number 10, to not have complete faith in the chanting of the holy name and to maintain material attachments even after understanding so many instructions in this matter. It is also an offense to be an attentive while chanting. Every devotee who claims to be a Vaishnava must guard against these offenses in order to achieve the desired success, Krishna Prema. So once, once again, welcome to today's call and thank you very much for joining us. Moving on to our next session, which is Srimad Bhagavatam class. I would let all the devotees on the call to please go ahead with your introductions now. Hare Krishna Lakshmi Mataji, Dandrat Pranam, Sila Prabhupada, Kijay Guru Maharaj, Kijay Priti Dasi from Charlotte. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Priti Mataji, Dandrat Pranam, all glories to Sheila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Dandrat Pranam, Sheila Prabhupada, Kijay Guru Maharaj, Kijay. This is Arvinda Akshita from Chicago. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Arvind Prabhuji, Dharmat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Pataji, Dharmat Pranam, Jai Srila Prabhupada. This is Sarmishra from Odisha. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Dharmat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Dharmat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. This is Vinita Gandhar Vikramadasi from Texas. Hare Krishna Vinita Gandhavika Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam to you and all Vaishnava. Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, Hare Krishna Vrinda Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam, please accept my humble obediences. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and Sri Guru and Gauranga and all our symbol devotees. Yashamati from Chicago. Hare Krishna Yashamati Mataji. Dharmat Pranam. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Dharmat Pranam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Uh, Pravadana and Das from Las Vegas. Please accept my ob- humble obeisance if all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Bhav. Hare Krishna Prahalad Anand Prabhuji, Dharmat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Lakshmi Mataji. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. This is Anita from Sharja. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Anita Mataji, Dharmat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, then was Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Guru Maharaj and the symbol devotees. This is Shiromani Nandrani Devdasi from Hyderabad, India. Hare Krishna Shiromani Mataji, then was Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, then was Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to all the symbol devotees. This is Sushmita from Canada. Hare Krishna, Sushmita Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Do we have any more introductions before we start the class? Hare Krishna, Lakshmi Mataji, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all the assembled devotees. This is Indulekha Karuna Devi Dasi from me. Hare Krishna and Dulekha Mataji, Dharmat Pranam, all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Lakshmi Mataji, all glory to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharaji. My humble obeisance is to you and all the devotees. This is Krishna Kumar Devi Dasi from Rana. 
हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कुमारी माता जी धनवत प्रणाम ऑल ग्लोर सुशीला प्रभुपाद थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टुडे माता जी हरे कृष्णा Hare Krishna Lakshmi Mata ji please accept my humble obeisances all glories to Shri Prabhupada Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga and to all the assembled devotees this is Megha from Nepal Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Megha Mata ji dharma pranam all glories to Shri Prabhupada thank you so much for joining us today Mata ji Hare Krishna Mata ji this is Balavrinda Hare Krishna Balavrinda dharma pranam thank you so much for joining us today Balavrinda Hare Krishna माताजी and uh, definitely welcome to the group mata ji we are very very excited to have you here so can we say three times hari bol to mata ji as this is going to be her hari first bol. time hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol thank you mata ji thank you any other introductions <clears throat> Welcome to Bhakti Sangha conference call. We are extremely fortunate to have His Grace Amog Lila Prabhu Ji here with us today, and Prabhu Ji would be enlightening us by discussing Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto Five, Chapter Twenty Five, and Verse Four and Five. But before we dive into this next time class, I would request Raj Prabhu Ji to share a brief introduction about His Grace Amog Lila Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Thank you for coming to you and all the assembled devotees. All glory to Shri Lakshmi Prabhu, Shri Guru and Gauranga. Thank you, Shri Prabhu. Hare Krishna. There is a brief introduction for our beloved His Grace Amogli La Prabhu Ji. Prabhu Ji is a disciple of His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, and is presently serving as the Vice President of the Dwarka Dish Temple at Dwarka. With great spiritual curiosity, right from his childhood days. Prabhu ji found his answers at ISKCON and in 2010 became a full time practicing monk brahmachari Prabhu ji and his team has done a commendable job serving nutritious prasadam under the food for life campaign to millions of people in new delhi during difficult covid times he has the art of combining the heavy philosophy just with the right proportion of anecdotes one liners humors to leave the audience spellbound and inspire them to embrace this path of bhakti and prabhu ji gave classes in both hindi and english prabhu has helped thousands of students free themselves from the clutches of addiction and depression he also serves as a life coach helping people with the stress related problems really? we are very grateful to have prabhu ji as our speaker on bhakti sangha today thank you prabhu hari krishna wow. over to you mata ji hari krishna thank you prabhu for your association welcome hari krishna thank you so much for inviting me thank you for coming prabhu hey okay, so shall we proceed shall we, shall we start just one second prabhu hari krishna amok leela prabhu ji dhanvat pranam all glories to shila prabhu ka thank you very much for your valuable time and association this morning and enlightening us on the topic of shrimad bhagavatam without further ado i would like to request you to please take over from here Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. So, um, so we'll sing one song, Krishna Premayi Radha, Radha Premayi Hari. So this is known as Yugalashtakam, and uh, this was composed by Shri Jeevu Goswami. So let me share this, and then I'll sing this song. Okay. sharing okay i don't know why i'm not able to share ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh.
Prabhuji, does it say it's disabled for you or? It says, um, allow Zoom to share your screen. Okay. Open system preferences. Okay. <laughs> Prabhuji, we can share it. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. If you can share the song. So you can type Krishna Premamai Radha. Oh yeah. There we go. So this is composed by Shri Jeeva Goswami. So I'll sing this song. Krishna Prem Mai Radha Radha Prem Mayo Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Syadravinam Radha Radha Yadravinam Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Pranamai Radha Radha Pranamayo Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Dravamai Radha Radha Dravamayo Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Gehistita Radha Radha Gehistito Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Chitta Sthita Radha Radha Chitta Sthito Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Nilambar Dhara Radha Pitaambar Dharo Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Vrinda Vaneshwari Radha Krishna Vrinda Vaneshwara Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Krishna Prem Mai Radha Radha Prem Mayo Hari Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Jivane Nidhane Nityam Radha Krishna Gatir Mama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय जय प्रभु 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 जय जय प्रभु हरे कृष्णा श्लोकोपाद की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय सो जस्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू द मीनिंग ऑफ द the song is some if you can reshare the screen it's a beautiful meaning very simple meaning but very it's full of love radha is made of pure love for krishna and hari who is also krishna is made of pure love of radha life's greatest wealth is radha and krishna my eternal shelter radha is a treasure of krishna hari is a treasure of radha life's greatest wealth is radha and krishna my eternal shelter radha pervades the life force of krishna hari pervades the life force of radha life's greatest wealth is radha and krishna my eternal shelter radha is totally melted with hari with krishna and hari is totally melted with radha Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is situated in the body of Krishna. Hari is situated in the body of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is fixed in the heart of Krishna. Hari is fixed in the heart of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha wears cloth of blue color and Hari wears a cloth of yellow color. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is the mistress of Vrindavan. Krishna is the master of Vrindavan. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Shri Jeeva Swami Prabhupada ki jai. Shri Yugalashtakam ki jai. Shri Madhavagavatam ki jai. Okay. So now you will begin Shri Madhavagavatam. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा सो वी आर रीडिंग श्रीम फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो फाइव चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव and chapter entitled the glories of lord ananta verse number 4 and 5 so i would just go through this fourth one the, the fourth verse is like this yasyangri kamala yugala runa vishada nakhamani shankha mandaleshwa ahi patay saha then satvata shabhair ekant bhakti yoge na an लाइक valuable gems polished to mirror finish oh wow when the unalloyed devotees and the leaders of the snakes offer their obeisances to lord sankarshan with great devotion they become very joyful upon seeing their own beautiful faces reflected in his toenails their cheeks are uh, decorated with glittering earrings and beauty of their faces is extremely pleasing to say okay now next verse is like this yasyaiva hi nagaraj kumarya ashish asha sanachar varanga yali vilat sit vishad vipul dhaval la dhavala subha guru chir bhujarat tastam bheshwa guru chanda kung kum pankanu le pe nav limpa manas tad darbhi shamannon matit hriday हृदय कर ध्वर ध्वज विपूर्णी तारुण कारुणा वलोक नयन वदना रविंद समीग्र कील विलोक जय हो ब्यूटीफुल कंपोजिशन बाय श्लजी बाय श्ल वेद व्यासिंग ओके नाउ लेट्स गुड ट्रांसलेशन 
and purport by his divine Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, word meaning, word meaning also by Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. So translation goes like this. So Lord Ananta's arms are attractively long, mm -hmm. beautifully decorated with bangles. So he's got armlets, so bangles, and completely spiritual. So they are not made up of gold, silver, or diamonds, or such gems, but they are spiritual, they are divine. Originally, all gems are having their spiritual origin. So that's why it's like this. So they are white. And uh, so they appear like silver columns. When the beautiful princess of the serpent kings, hoping for the Lord's auspicious blessings, smear his arms with aguru pulp, sandalwood pulp, and kumkum, the touch of his limbs awakens lusty desires within them. Understanding their minds, the Lord looks at the princesses with a merciful smile and they become bashful, realizing that he knows their desires. Then they smile beautifully and look upon Lord's lotus face, which is beautified by reddish eyes, rolling slightly with intoxication and delighted by love for his devotees. Purport. When males and females touch each other's bodies, their uh, lusty desires naturally awaken. It appears from this verse that there are similar sensations in spiritual bodies. Both Lord Ananta and the woman giving him pleasure had spiritual bodies. Thus, all sensations originally exist in spiritual body. This is confirmed in Vedanta Sutra. Janmadi Asyataha. Shri Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur has commented on this connection that the word Adi means Adiras, the original lusty feeling which is born from supreme. However, spiritual lust and material lust are as completely different as gold and iron. Only one who is very highly elevated in spiritual realization can understand the lusty feelings exchanged between Radha and Krishna. Jivane nidhane nityam Radha Krishna mama or between Krishna and the damsels of Raja. Therefore, unless one is very experienced and advanced in spiritualization, he is forbidden to discuss the lusty feelings of Krishna and the gopis. However, if one is, is a sincere and a pure devotee, the material lust in the heart is completely vanquished as he discusses the lusty feelings between gopis and Krishna and, and he makes quick, quick progress in spiritual life. Wonderful purport by Shri Prabhupada. Om Ajnana Timiran Dhasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Vena Maha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahiyam Dadati Supadantikam One day Ham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavansha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadhvaitam Savudhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada and Sahagana Lita Shri Vishakhan he Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bandho Jagatpate, Gopesh Gopika Kante Radha Kante Namosuti, Tapta Kanchan Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari, Vrishabhana Sutta Devi, Panamami Hari Priye, Vancha Kalpata Rubhescha, Kripas and Dubya Evacha, Patitanam Pavane Pio, Vesna Babio, Namo Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasa Gengaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Namo Mishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langai Deke Yatrapata Mahamande, Sri Guru Dinatarinam, Paraman and the Madhavam, Sri Chaitanya Ishwaram. Thank you, Dev Jashtra Prabhat Kijai. Hare Krishna. So, very beautiful purport, Sri Prabhat has given such nice explanation about uh, the difference between the lusty feelings and exchanges in the material world and in the spiritual world. Yeah. Um, and uh, Sri Prabhat especially is highlighting that how in the, in the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there is no question of materialistic exploitative lust. It is divine and very pure form of lust where, there, where there's a desire to give pleasure to the beloved, not that I enjoy. I enjoy. That's the nature of this world, actually. Actually, in the material world, you will see 
uh, the love affairs of the material world, how they are like. Actually, both the girl and the boy, they are beggars. The boy is also a beggar because he's searching for pleasure. And he looks at a girl. Oh, she's personification of rasa. Her body is filled with honey. And the girls are looking at the boys. Their, their bodies are filled with honey. But these bodies are not filled with honey at all. It's all dry protein. That's it. So that's why two beggars, when they try to loot each other, so that they become millionaire. That is the lusty feelings of this world. Two beggars, if they try to loot each other, can they become millionaires? Of course not. And that's why in this world, the, ex the, the experience is like this very hollow and very shallow kind of experience. You know, after having uh, some lusty exchanges with somebody, executing the lusty desires, it makes a person more ah, as if I'm drained, I'm, I'm finished, I'm exhausted, I'm done. There's no, so uh, and we see that love also has a steep fall after such exchanges. And that's the nature of this world. Srila Prabhupada used to give an analogy of the bumblebee and the lotus. When the bumblebee comes near the lotus, so bumblebee looks at the lotus thinking that the lotus has become pink because of me. Because I'm so good looking. I'm so good looking. That's why the lotus is blushing. The lotus is blushing. And that's why the lotus has become pink. Out of feelings of blush. But it is not that uh, the lotus has become pink because of the bumblebee. The lotus is always pink. So Shri Prabhupada used to say that similarly flirtatiousness is the nature of the conditioned soul. As soon as a boy sees a beautiful girl, he eventually becomes very happy-go-lucky. And then very jovial, very cool. And then yo, yo. And then girls, wow, this guy is so happy seeing me. All of a sudden, in my appearance, I see the kind of excite excitement he's expressing. Wow. And all the girls have become very touchy. Very, very, very. very um, they also become on small, small things. On, on silly things, they're laughing. <laughs> And the boy is, oh, she is smiling. She is laughing because of me. Because I'm so good looking. I'm so handsome. That's why, baby. <laughs> but actually, she loves seeing all the boys. And this boy shows all of this happy-go-lucky kind of gesture in front of all the girls. So the lotus is always pink. It, the bumblebee is an illusion thinking that because of me, that lotus has become pink. The lotus is always pink. Similarly, all conditioned boys all conditioned girls in this world, all conditioned living entities are having flirtatiousness as their nature. It is common to all. But the, but the other gender thinks, well, because of me, I'm so good. I'm so good looking. I'm so handsome. That's why because of me, the other person is blushing. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's why in this way, this illusion continues. And as soon as Kamdev, Kamdev, the, the god of lust, as soon as he sees that, oh, here are two parties who are interested in each other. Uh, okay, uh, I see. Uh, let, let me make the connection more complete. And then the god of lust makes the connection complete by shooting five arrows. What are those five arrows? The first arrow is, uh, which is shot by Kamdev, the god of lust. The first arrow is Sammohan. Sammohan means illusion. And the first arrow, oh, Sammohan. And the person is hypnotized by the form of the opposite gender. So handsome. So good looking. Wow. Sammohan. To the extent that somebody says, hey, hello. Huh? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 please. Yeah, uh, please. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Sammohan. That's a first arrow shot by Kamdev. Now, second arrow is Unmadan. That means intoxication. That means a person seeks to see that form again and again. Intoxication again and again and again. Like uh, if somebody is attracted to somebody in an assembly, the person might be talking to somebody, some, someone else. But in case the attraction is towards somebody else. So one psychological fact is that you should look at the, the direction of the feet. 
where the foot is directed that's where his attention is the person is looking this side but attention is on that side that's one psychological thing what this happens yes of course so that happens with the second arrow of kamdev which is uh, unmadan which makes person intoxicated with the form of the other person and then third arrow which is shot by kamdev the god of lust is known as shoshan that means maddening desire to exploit the other person i wish i could exploit that person i wish i wish i wish wish means poison so there is poison of lust in the heart so wish i wish yes there is wish there is poison of lust in your heart sir absolutely right that's true if somebody says in this world i love you basically it means i have lust for you i want to exploit you and the other person says i love you too it means yeah me too i also want to exploit you you got some money or not ah yeah good so i love you i love you i love you to this that's a purport which people do not speak but that's what's happening in the background yes so that's that is what happens in the with the third arrow of the god of lust which is known as shoshan first one is samohan illusion second one is unmadan intoxication third one is shoshan maddening desire to exploit the other person which we tag as love 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 and then comes a fourth arrow the fourth arrow by the god of lust which is shot between these two individuals uh, is tapan tapan means burning desire burning the heart is burning because the lust is not fulfilled the heart is burning i wish i could i wish i could when then how <laughs> and now the heart is burning so that's the fourth arrow which leads to affliction and then after that the fifth arrow comes that is stambhan stambhan means a person is stunned detention he is completely driven by that form in this way the five arrows are shot by kamdev the god of lust five arrows chak 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 oh oh oof and this way the god of lust makes you mad for each other that's what happens in the material world but kamdev has got these six arrows from whom ultimately five arrows are there with krishna are there with krishna so what are the five arrows of lord shri krishna okay so these so five arrows of kamdev the god of lust but krishna is god of love so krishna also has got five arrows the first arrow of lord shri krishna is known as chittananda dhar okay that's the first arrow which krishna shoots on the devotee like those who do gayatri they say pushpa bana hai dhimahi pushpa bana hai pushpa and then bana hai that means the bana which is the arrows arrows are the the god of love is krishna the divine love okay so he so he shoots of the first arrow that was known as chittananda dhar that means the heart is captivated by the form of krishna krishna's divine spiritual sachidananda form oh krishna you are so beautiful when the gopis in in vrindavan when they dance and when they are when they are dancing when they are when they are too tired when when they see krishna's beautiful form oh krishna that gives immediate solace immediately they are recovered they danced equal to the duration of the night of brahma ji that means millions and zillions of years millions of years one night of brahma ji so they dance of this much of duration of time and then when they are tired they look at the form of krishna ah so krishna shoots first arrow on them chittananda dhar the chit is full of anand and dhar means captivates so krishna captivates the chitta with anand so that's the first arrow so this arrow is having the flowers and leaves of mango the divine mango so that's the first arrow okay now second one is known as vidyananda dhar vidyananda dhar is the the bliss of wisdom of relationship with krishna that krishna i am yours you are mine i have my this relationship with you this service for you and that, that's why and it is meant for you so this knowledge of the relationship with krishna that krishna i belong to you wow i'm so fortunate i'm so fortunate that i belong to you krishna oh krishna so that's 
vidyananda dhar so vidya anand anand means bliss bliss of the vidya of which vidya about krishna about self and the beautiful love between the two dhar is captivated even further okay that's the second arrow shot by krishna uh, on the devotees on the brajavasis and then krishna the god of love the divine love he shoots the third arrow and that's known as sadananda dhar so second arrow is having flowers of ashoka tree okay. now third arrow is sadananda dhar sadananda dhar means bliss which permeates one's existence and surrounding sadananda and this is ever increasing joy sadananda sada means always anand means bliss the bliss which always exists sadananda or, or the, like there is constant ecstasy as shri prabhat mentions in nectar devotion constant ecstasy so with constant ecstasy there is constantly increasing bliss constantly increasing euphoria constantly increasing ecstasy so that is sadananda dhar and this arrow is covered with the flowers which is known as the madhvi flowers which is shot by krishna on his devotees who are seeking always his association then the fourth arrow which is shot by krishna is known as kamananda dhar that means the joy of the fulfillment of desires i have a desire to serve krishna this way that way like this this at this time so krishna fulfills the desire so that's why this the fifth arrow is kamanand kam means a desire anand means the bliss extreme joy dhar the devotee is even further more captivated by the anand of the fulfillment of the desire to serve krishna in a particular way that's known as kamananda dhar okay and then comes ramananda dhar so excuse me ramananda dhar ramananda dhar excuse me so kamananda dhar is now the arrow which is made of jasmine flowers now ramananda dhar ramananda dhar is having hypnotic euphoria that means a person is now absolutely oblivious to the external appearance um Uh, surrounding people society society culture formalities absolutely oblivious hypnotic trance an entire existence is deeply imbued with divine ecstasy that's the fifth arrow ramana anand ramana ramana means great bliss anand itself is bliss so ramana and anand one completely is driven by the lord and ramana also means to wander to seek to to explore so the devotee becomes more and more anxious about the relationship he explores the relationship more and more sarv krishna more and more so ramana anand dhar so every time there is dhar all the five arrows are having dhar dhar means captivated by the chittanand dhar vidyanand dhar sadanand dhar kamanand dhar or ramana anand dhar such such a beautifully form such beautiful form of the lord completely captivates the heart of the devotee so five arrows originally five arrows belong to krishna these five arrows have their perverted reflection in the material world in the material world in the form of sammohan unmadan shoshan tapan and stambhan these are five arrows but they are perverted reflection of the five arrows of krishna of chittananda dhar vidyananda dhar sadananda dhar Kamananda Dhar and Ramanananda Dhar. One becomes absolutely mad for Krishna. Like Shri Prabhupada used to say, the goal of this Krishna consciousness movement is to become mad for Krishna. Oh, really? We are coming to become mad? Yes, absolutely. In the material world, we are already mad. We are already mad. We are to change the flavor of madness. Now we have to change the flavor of madness from materialistic, exploitative, selfish kind of madness. to selfless pure service oriented that kind of madness in krishna that's the goal of life so that's what shri prabhu used to say the goal of this krishna consciousness movement is to become mad for krishna shri prabhu pad was mad for krishna who can write such long long purports explaining single verse who is mad for krishna who is mad like there was one person he was on mayavadi impersonal he said swami ji you mention your bhagavad gita bhagavad gita as it is but i must say that your bhagavad gita is not as it is because in those verses where there is no krishna you put krishna in your translations and word and in your purports even though there is no krishna in those shlokas in those verses so it is not really as it is 
it is not really as it is. Shri Prabhupada said, in your Bhagavad Gita, where in the shloka there is Krishna, you took away Krishna. So I had to compensate. So I put Krishna even in those shlokas where there is no Krishna. I had to compensate because you are envious of Krishna. That's why. So we see that those who are mad for Krishna, they are like this. Shri Prabhupada cannot stop his, his, his desperation, his intense maddening love for Krishna. That's why in the verses he puts Krishna, 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 Many places he doesn't say by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. He says by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. That means there is no tinge of laziness in this person. Then let me write just chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. I'll not this write entire Mahamantra. No, 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 no. In the Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter, Shri Prabhupada, he is writing so many verses where there is Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Wow, that's really wonderful. So even though chapter is Dhyan Yoga, but Dhyan Yoga chapter can be used as Vedi Sadhana Bhakti by those who are essence seekers. They can see that, yes, the sixth chapter is the practical guideline for a sadhaka who is doing bhakti. So we see that in this way, there is difference between the two. So this way, so there is lust and there is love. Ashul Prabhupada gives the example, an analogy of the gold and the iron. Both are metal, but gold is gold and iron is rust prone it is prone to get rusted and that's what we see in this world the love is prone to get rusted in the beginning there are there can be some poems but after some time it's just rust that's the nature of it in the beginning the person may say the roses are red the sky is blue or the velvets are blue oh my darling i love you and once the person is fed up with the other person then roses are dead I have flu. Don't come near me. Pare hartu. Just get lost, man. Just, just, just get lost. So love evaporates. In the beginning, there are, oh, there are poems and there are compositions written by one's own blood. Take the blood and then writing love letters. Wow. And after some time, you become so depressed that, yes, earlier you were cutting nerve here, now here. Ah. And then some bandages. Why there are bandages? Because there are bondages, bondage of love, so-called love. That's why. But instead of having bondage, we should have bonding with Krishna. That is what we are supposed to do, actually. Like Shri Prabhupada mentions that this material world is a perverted reflection. It's a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. So why this perverted reflection? What's the meaning? Why this is perverted reflection? If we analyze the nature of the reflection in connection to the original object, we can see that what's the difference between divine love and materialistic love. Like first thing about reflection is that the reflection is prone to get disturbed. I've seen reflections on the, on the water surface. If you see reflection, just touch the surface of water. And then there are ripples and then image becomes very distorted. In this way, the love in this world is prone to get disturbed. I saw my girlfriend looking at somebody else. Relationship is finished. My, my boyfriend or my husband praised somebody. Oh, that lady, she's so good, na? The way she cooks. Wow, her husband is a crook, but she's such a good cook. It's lucky guy. What do you mean? Relationship becomes disturbed. At the fall of hat on anything... On any insignificant matter, there is so much disturbance. Just because somebody does not call, say, uh, say, didn't call for three days. You did not call me for past three days. In case you like somebody, then you can tell me honestly. No, excuse me, you know, I was actually preparing for my exams. No, 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 no. I know realities. You don't have to educate me. I know. Please. Please. I'm not a fool, you know. I'm not a fool. Uh, you are actually a fool. Uh, yes. So this happens. So the nature of mundane love is that just like reflection, reflection is prone to get disturbed. Original object is not prone to get disturbed. In case if I see a building or a tree, if I touch it, it does not, it is not disturbed. But you see the reflection, touch, oh, prone to get disturbed. So the love in this world gets disturbed very easily. Very easily. Like we see the eighth verse of Shishashtakam. Ashishiva padratam penishtumam. Adarshana. Marmahatam karotuva yatha tatha va vidhatu lampato mat prananathastu saiva napara. 
whether you present before my eyes whether you are not present before my eyes or you make me broken hearted in all situations of my life you are my lord of heart unconditionally that is the nature of divine love so it is not disturbed at all even though there are all reasons to break the relationship yet it continues why because it is genuine it is deep like shrimati radharani's love is actually deep so that's why it is not prone to disturb shri propa's love was not disturbed league of devotees flopped typewriter got stolen alan attacked him almost to death struggling nobody supporting neither god brothers not politicians nor bureaucrats uh so the disciples they are devious they are leaving him they are going to original form of life they gave karma to shri propa and then they were rebellious they cheated him all of these things happened but his love for krishna was not disturbed that's real love yes okay now second thing is that reflection has a same form as that of object but reflection lacks substance just like mango on the tree has substance it has a form of a mango and substance also is there but in the reflection there is form but there is no substance i, I cannot eat the pulp of mango in the reflection similarly lust also is having similar form as that of love like there is radha krishna uh, krishna chitta sthita radha radha chitta sthito hari radha is in krishna's chitta in the heart and krishna is a chitta of radha in her heart oh so oh, same is my condition also i am in the heart of my girlfriend senorita and uh, in my heart there is senorita we are also in each other's heart so i am in her chitta she is in my chitta same 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 radha krishna and uh, romeo juliet lala majnu same same yes no excuse me sir same form but here there is lack of substance the substance is lacking the depth is lacking but in the spiritual world oh wow such deep depth is there like when uh, uddhav ji asked krishna krishna how can i reach your home can you give me the gps address that i can click on the gps link and then reach your home so then uh, krishna says when you enter vrindavan you will see rivers two rivers of one is uh, so why there are two white rivers coming just follow the river on the river there is home uddhav said krishna how can there be home on the river there can be river on the uh, there can be a home on the river side not on the river <laughs> krishna said no this home is actually on the river because this this home is the origin of the river how can there be a river a, a river can be a, an origin of uh, so a home can be uh origin of the uh, of a river how is it possible and then um uh, krishna said because these two rivers are the rivers of the tears of love of mother ishoda and nanda maharaj so these are tears which are formed which are forming the river uh, how much tear we can take out in case somebody ditches me somebody left me there was break up and the the other person was liking somebody else that person was that person was more handsome good looking more wealthy i may also shed some tears how many tears 1 2 3 4 if i take a spoon so the the tears can be collected in the spoon so total one spoon of tears do you like to shed more tears no this was it i have capacity of shedding tears only one spoon for ah and that's the end but the tears of mother ishoda and nanda maharaj the tears of love wow that they form rivers so the love has got so much of substance in the spiritual life lot of substance lot of substance but in the material world it lacks substance usually we see that after some physical exchanges then there is a steep fall in love in the beginning when the person has not physically explored the other person there is so much of anticipation but once it is done i am done finished the love is finished so it really lacks substance depth madness it lacks out of sight out of mind that's it 
was there was a husband he had a photograph of his wife and pasted on the on, on the door and then he was throwing dart as he was throwing dart some so he was missing the target sometimes here sometimes here sometimes here sometimes here 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 here, here. this is what was happening so then his wife called Hey, Janu, darling, how are you? Hey, oh, yeah, how are you doing? What are you doing, darling? Nothing, darling, just missing you. He was missing the target, you know. Just missing you. Yeah, so it lacks substance, actually, in this world. Out of sight, out of mind. When the person comes, oh, honey, I love you so much. And once the person is gone, then I'm watching a movie on Netflix. Wow, what deep love. But here are the gopis. The Brajavasis, Nanda Maharaj. Once Krishna has gone to Mathura, oh, deep love. So much deep love. Not that they got busy with their occupation. They're okay, Krishna has gone. So he's gone. So gone. <laughs> Let's live normal life. Where are my cows? Where are my bulls? Where are the cow dung? Okay, yeah. No. So that's the difference between the divine love and materialistic lust. Third quality of Reflection is that reflection is temporary. When there is light, then we can see the reflection. In case it is pitch dark, then we can't see reflection. So another nature of lust, which we tag as love, is that it appears and it disappears. It appears and then it disappears also. Yes. Till the time my vested interests are getting fulfilled. We love each other. You and I in this beautiful world. Ooh, hey, hey. And as soon as, once the vested interest is not getting fulfilled, then lonely, I am so lonely. And then the person becomes lonely. Oh, oh. So temporary. This love is temporary. It comes and it goes. Again, it may come and then it goes. And then it can come for somebody else. And that also goes. Wow. What deep maddening love. Amazing. That's the third quality. That reflection is temporary. So this so-called love is also temporary. At the max, it can last till death. After death, as per karma, we take new bodies, next bodies, and now I'm in infatuation with somebody else. This person is in having infatuation for somebody else. And then again, you and I in this beautiful world, this person on this side, this one on this side. This person is in New Zealand, this person is in Australia, this person is in India, this person is in USA. Ah. And again, you and I, and this person, when, when the, once the love is finished, because it is temporary. Lonely. I am so lonely. Oh. So sad. So that's the third quality of this love that is temporary. Reflection. It depends on other factors. Reflection or to be there, there are other factors like uh, the place of the place and the light, the surface, whether the surface is shiny or not. If it is not shiny, then there is no reflection. Yeah. And so that's why it depends on many other factors. So lust also depends on many other factors. For example, appearance. This is a primary factor. Appearance should be good. Nice, silky skin. Yes. Other factors. So the person is having money, comforts, and this person facilitate my desires. Ah, oh yes. External factors. Whether this person is cool, is he cool dude or not? He's not a cool dude. Family background, many things are taken into consideration. And then this lust requires all of these different foundations so that it can survive. As soon as even one block is removed, <laughs> this love, <laughs> which is depending on all these factors, it gets shaken. So in this world, I love you. And then there can be asterisk. There can be asterisk. Conditions apply. I love you, asterisk, conditions apply. So it is not unconditional love. It is conditions apply. Yeah, there would be love provided, provided, provided. Ah, So that's why it depends on other factors as well. Especially appearance is very important. I was hearing one interview of one uh, relationship expert. This person said, actually, lust is more important than love in marriage. Wow. What a deep realization. 
Certainly, this person would facilitate. He would be a catalyst for many divorces because lust is more important than love. Mm -hmm. Okay, now one more quality or reflection is that it gives a partial view of the object. Like, for example, if somebody looks into the pond, so in the pond there is a reflection, but not entire city is getting reflected in the pond. Only that which is on the bank, only that gets reflected. But that which is away from the bank, it is not reflected. So love in this world cannot completely describe the true nature of love. It only takes like some part of it gets reflected, but not entirely. So love has got many more things. Some part of it gets reflected in the material world in the form of lust. But many of the divine ecstasies, the divine exchanges, they cannot be replicated. They cannot come in the material world in the form of reflection. Some part can come to reflection. So externally, they appear to be same, but actually it is all very bewildering. Yes. Actually, Prabhupada used to give example of sugar cane and the bamboo. The sugar cane fields and the bamboo, bamboo fields, externally, they look alike. Yeah, same, 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 same. And in a quest to experience the sugar cane, one enters a bamboo field. He says, wow, uh, uh, bamboo, uh, no, no, sugar cane. Uh, 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 uh. What happened? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is bamboo field. Yeah. Yeah, this is bamboo field. Ah, I thought it is sugar cane. Uri ah. That is what happens to the uh, people in the material world. They want to enter the sugar cane, the sugar cane field of love. But alas, they enter the material world. Material world is a field of bamboos. Yay. And there was one disciple of Shri Prabhupada. He said, Shri Prabhupada, you say, you know, we should abstain from sex life. But how can there be love without sex life? And then Shri Prabhupada said, and Shri Prabhupada took his hand. And there were many people they were going and coming. And there were some of the girls also coming and going. He said, pick any one of them and get married. And whatever, to the extent you want to enjoy, do that. But you will only get sex life, but not love. Because love is not the product of the material world. It's the product of the spiritual world. So you are searching for the right thing in the wrong place. You're searching for love. And love is the right thing. But you're searching in the wrong place. Material world. Material world is it is matter. Matter cannot contain love. It cannot. So that's why you're searching for the right thing, but in a wrong place. Shri also used to say, the boys are good, the girls are good. But when they come together, they become bad. Ah, so girls are good, the boys are good, both are good. But when they come together, then chemical reaction happens and then, oh. When somebody asks Shri Prabhupada, Shri Prabhupada, what's the difference between spiritual love and material love? Shri Prabhupada said, this reporter asked, what's the difference between the spiritual love and material love? Shri Prabhupada said, in divine love, the two become one in heart. The two become one. In the material world, when two come together, they become three because the child comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they have to take care of the child and the child, child is sleeping in between them. So in divine love, two become one. In material love, the two become three and then four, sometimes five. And then, oh, and then this person is finished. That's the difference between material love and the divine love. Shri Prabhupada gave in a very, in a very graphical, very different way. So that's so that is what we need to understand. That is what is highlighted here. That how all these Nagpatnis and these great uh, celestial beings they are worshiping Krishna. They are uh, they are anointing Krishna's body, but as they are anointing Krishna's body, so there is there is lust. But what kind of lust is this? This is divine lust. So it is not really L U S T lust. It is actually divine love. Yeah, because there is a desperate desire to please Krishna, to please Krishna's senses, and that's. The divine love where we desire to satisfy our own senses then that is lust as chaitanya shirtamvita very beautifully describes this definition that what's the difference between material lust and spiritual lust
the desire to gratify one's own senses is calm, lust. But the desire to please the senses of Krishna, that is prema, divine love. All right, I'll stop here now. If anybody has any question, we will take your questions now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hello, Pranam. What an amazing class, Prabhu. So beautiful. You just uh, stick on the topic and how beautifully you explained uh, uh, after, you know, uh, uh, the five arrows of Kamadev. So beautifully explained. And then, of course, five arrows of our Madan Mohan Krishna. Yeah. How they are beautiful. So, yeah, how we get... Uh, attracted to Krishna. That's so beautiful. And thanks so much, Prabhu, for the bhajan. So beautiful. Everybody in chat box was saying such a beautiful bhajan. Every time you come, you give us uh, so much rasa of uh, Krishna praying. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Oh, no, I so rasa is with the Acharyas and I just give something, whatever little I have. I don't have any rasa. It's coming in parampara, rasa. Prabhu, and, uh, and, uh, and you just uh, give us that rasa. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhu. There are only a few hands up. Uh, Puja Mataji from Haridwar. Hari Guru. Okay. Hari Guru. Yes, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Uh, first of all, Prabhu Ji, thanks for all your amazing lectures, including uh, today's lecture. Many downwards uh, to you, Prabhu Ji, as just because of you, just because of you, and because of uh, Dr. Keshwan and Prabhu Ji. Okay. Um, I am in Krishna consciousness. Okay, the main quality of your lecture is that you give deep message in an easy way, in a hilarious way. Because of this, devotees like me, the fallen soul, may uh, take a hope like ki wo bhi bhakti kar sakte hai, baki logo ki tara, Prabhu ji. Keep doing and, uh, all the Yes, Prabhu ji. And Prabhu ji, can I talk to you in Hindi? Prabhu ji, English? Can I translate in English because not everyone can understand Hindi? Yes, Prabhu ji. Yes, Prabhu ji. Prabhu ji, 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 Krishna conscious mere bas ki baat nahi hai main kaise karungi kaise nahi karungi but aapke lectures aur dr keshavanand prabhu ji ke lectures ko sunke mere andar ek hope lagi ke main bhi kar sakti hu yadi ishwar ne chaha to krishna ki ichha hui mere damodar ki kripa hui to main aapse ek bar zarur milungi sure main delhi aaungi to main aapse zarur milna chahungi prabhu ji yes I was late in this Krishna consciousness. Mein, Mataji, what is your question? I... Mataji, you have to ask your question. You know, we, yes, we, we love to hear your biography. But since the time is limited, so that's why you have to come to the question. Prabhuji, uh, sorry, I'm emotional. If you have seen it, I'm a little emotional. Because I'm very late in Krishna consciousness. Mein. I'm 45 age. Hai meri. Lekin no, mujhe, uh... It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, yes, Prabhuji. I just want to know Prabhuji. The main thing that I always think is that if we are not in a devotee family and we are not taking prasadam, then we can't continue to grow further, Prabhuji. If we are not a family devotee and we are not prasadam, we will not be able to grow further. So what kind of way we are going to grow further? Because this is very important to say that we are going to grow Chanting is a backbone. I know. But uh, uh, prasadam, which is the most important effect of the Rajogun, Tamogun, Satogun, in the most important effect of the Rajogun, Tamogun, and Dr. Keshwan and Prabhu Ji's lectures. So, okay. this may be a little bit of a little Okay. Uh, so, question is that uh, because Mati belongs to a family where not everyone is a devotee, so that's why she is not able to have prasadam all the time. Although chanting Hare Krishna is certainly very important, but since she is not able to get prasadam, so, uh, would she be able to make spiritual progress? Yes, Mataji, you can make spiritual progress because uh, primary ing ingredients of spiritual progress are devotees association, which is most important. And secondly, okay. chanting of Hare Krishna attentively. So, this is also very important. And reading Shri Prabhupada's books, that also you should regularly do. Regarding Prasadam, Mataji, uh, of course, in case you are not able to get Prasadam, then whatever you have, you know, of course, uh, preferably it should be free from onion garlic, it should be pure vegetarian. And then you chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra three times and then mentally offer it to Krishna and then take it. That's again, it's an exceptional handling. It's not a rule. It's an exception thing. And since, uh, you know, the ladies, they are the home ministers at home. They are the home ministers. So that's why in case 
in case you are taking care of the kitchen gradually you can reduce the percentage of onion and garlic in the in the kitchen and then you have you should have small temple in the kitchen itself cook gradually reduce the percentage of of, of uh, onion and garlic so that uh, people do not come to know gradually it is out sorry to interrupt you prabhu ji but if may it is not possible because uh, aroda you know i am from punjabi family non veg is also, also from aroda family i'm yes, sorry i know that i know i know prabhu ji but sometimes you have to take a stand you can't be so coward that you know i am driven by my family whatever they would say i would just go by this because i ultimately i am such a weak woman you can't be in this mode and do bhakti <laughs> you have to take yes, a stand sir. you have yes, to take a stand sir. excuse me i have got my individuality i like doing bhakti and i am offering my food to krishna in case you want to you are most welcome in case you are not i don't mind hare krishna take a stand be assertive and prabhu ji in the case of a health issue i mean uh, if i am not able to cook in that case uh, prabhu ji uh, kya ye bazaar ka jo khana hai i'm telling you there are there are many health items which are, which can be cooked without any difficulty for for good health you take raw food raw food is very good like uh, uh, cucumber is available potato uh, tomatoes are there so many things are there you know and then you just cut them have some lemon and then take it and that's very healthy we should take this kind of food and we should not take dead food like paratha pizza pasta dead food in case you if you if you saw them inside the soil would there be paratha or pizza tree no because it's a dead food but in case but in case you take cucumber and you saw it inside the soil there is cucumber tree because it is life so take this kind of food which gives you life take more sunlight that will give you strength because we are not taking sunlight nowadays sedentary lifestyles that's why we are having so many physical ailments actually so take more sunlight do some pranayam pranayam anlom milom kapal bhati bhramari hmm do that this will improve your health yes prabhu ji i am doing so prabhu ji x yes thank you so much prabhu ji hare krishna prabhu ji dandavat pranam swar kumar prabhu yes swar kumar prabhu please go ahead swar prabhu you can unmute yourself please Okay. Akshat Prabhu. I'm traveling. I can't ask any question. I was I okay. was written in the chat box. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll read your question later. Prabhu. Akshat Prabhu. So oh, what can I uh, what can I at that time when the desire of doing sexual activity comes with very high force? Okay. So this happens in young age because of hormones in the body, and then there is a surge of uh, lustful desires that i must gratify it whether with somebody or in an artificial way in the form of masturbation or something like that what should be done there can be various things which can be done one of the very effective thing which is done by various sincere sadhakas is that they sing a version of song at that time like one of the favorite songs of uh, the devotees like one of my brahmachari friend uh, he said he said that when he feels lusty so he sings the song gopinath Gopina, Gopina, Mama ni vedana shuno, Mama ni vedana shuno, Vishay durjana sada kamrata, Kichu na hi mora guna. Oh Gopinath, oh Lord of the Gopis, my mind is always full of lust. i have this this filthy desires in my heart please make me free from all these desires nahi mama bala gyana sunir bala swadhin nahe kya kaya i don't have spiritual strength i don't have spiritual knowledge please krishna oh gopinath help me oh gopinath and in this way as you will sing just one paragraph you will see lust has gone to 50% you sing one more paragraph it comes down to 10% by the time you start singing it lust is finished that that agitation which is there in the chest let me gratify that this lust until unless i gratify it i'll not be peaceful let me become peaceful by doing it and then person does it but yes there is a spiritual way to deal with it singing a spiritual song these songs of vaishnava acharyas are full of potencies 
Shri Prabhupada used to say these songs of Vaishnava Acharyas are expansions of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Wow. Expansions. So in this way, uh, yeah, this, is what, this is what can be done. Also, um, uh, we, we should, one should not sleep alone because when somebody is alone, then Maya uses the weapon. Nobody's watching you. Nobody's watching you. So enjoy. Nobody's watching you. Nobody's watching you. So enjoy. That's the weapon, commonly used weapon of Maya and almost 100% success rate of this weapon. Nobody's watching you. But when we are staying with the devotees and then this can be curved, you know, like that. Like in our Brahmachari Ashram, we all Brahmachari we sleep. In a single room, there are 10, 15 Brahmacharis all sleep together. We all read Krishna book before going to bed. We read Krishna book for 15 minutes. We read some Krishna Leela. And then having this Krishna Leela in our head and then we sleep. So that, because we are together, that's what that, that gives strength. So you can have some of your friend, your parents or your brother or your sister. They can be there so that, you know, as soon as I have got public, uh, uh, private life, that's not good for me in case I get agitated too often. So like that. And as soon as say, I look at a beautiful girl and then in my in my comes, oh, wow, what a beauty. Oh, what a salty creation. Then immediately I can say, well, she doesn't belong to me. I do not belong to her. She doesn't belong to me. I do not belong to her. She belongs to Krishna. I belong to Krishna. I belong to Krishna. She belongs to Krishna. She doesn't belong to me. I do not belong to her. Say it out. That also brings down the agitation. That's also there. And more you attentively chant Hare Krishna Mahamadha. Attentively. So then mode of passion goes down. As mode of passion would be reduced in consciousness, you will see that these lusty desires, they lose their potency. They lose their momentum. You know, so like, like that. And of course, spiritual knowledge is very helpful. Reading Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrit. More spiritual knowledge is there. Then we get Jnana Chakshu. More we have Jnana Chakshu, then we are saved from the material world. More we see the world with Charma Chakshu, biological eyes. These eyes are biological eyes. These biological eyes would cheat me, bluff me. They hook us to the material world, the biological eyes. So by having spiritual knowledge, we get spiritual eyes, the eyes of knowledge. And then these eyes of knowledge, they do not get stuck. They do not get hooked here and there. Ah, nah, nah, nah. I know what's the nature of this. Whole. Ah, ah, ah. Hare Krishna. Ah. So this is what we can do to take care of the agitation. But yes, there is no overnight solution. It, you know, just single night, you conquer it. Or one day you can conquer it now. It takes some time. As mode of passion would reduce, this thing is taken care of. And then agitation becomes weak, 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 weaker, weaker, weaker. And finally... Practically speaking, almost non-existent. Okay, now next question is from uh, Abhishek Tonpe. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Nandot Pranam. My first question is that uh, how to chant attentively and uh, wake up early in the morning. Uh, okay. My second question is that how to control anger. As um, I get angry many times, but uh, how I don't expect it externally. In internally, I think about it that uh, why the person did uh, like this to me, and I get angry uh, internally, but I don't expect it uh, externally. I don't speak to that person. So, how to control that? Uh, these are my two questions. Okay, firstly, how to chant attentively? Yeah. Sit straight. Sit straight. And, uh, and sitting and chanting should be there. Not that you know, Japa walks. Japa walk is for old people or those who are heart patients. Walking and chanting is that you would automatically you would be in distraction. There is a holy place and a holy time. Find out which is a holy place and a holy time for you to chant Hare Krishna Mahamad. In case you are sitting in a place where everyone is coming and going and kitchen and this and that and talking and gossiping and socializing, you can't focus here, you know. So holy place and holy time. Usually early morning hours are best. That's what it said in the morning. We chant rounds, 16 rounds of Hare Krishna is in the morning. The rest of the day, it is not round. It is square, rectangle, hyperbola, parabola, cuboid, cylinder. But rounds are in the only in the morning. You get in the point? So that's why early morning hours, that's very important. You can have Hare Krishna Mahamantra in your front of your eyes. So that your eyes, they remain only on Hare Krishna Mahamantra. 
that's also one more way there can be prayers before chanting hari krishna mahamantra you hear more and more glories of the holy name that is also very good so you follow some of these tips that will that will certainly increase your attention level in chanting hari krishna okay and uh, my second question about the anger uh, that okay give up three attitudes control freaks perfectionist enjoyment maniacs you give up three attitudes you will you would be free from anger significantly at the root it is cut by bhakti but on the surface you can take it off this at least your reactive responses by these three attitudes being a control freak those who are control freaks they become angry as things go out of control they become angry perfectionist who are, expect everything to be 10 upon 10 everything should be 10 upon 10 no everything can't be 10 upon 10 my wife should be 10 upon 10 my husband should be 10 upon 10 my children should be 10 upon 10 my salary should be 10 upon 10 my saving should be 10 upon 10 my neighbor should be 10 upon 10 and the wife of the neighbor should also be 10 upon 10 everything should be 10 upon 10 excuse me sir not everything can be 10 upon 10 that's one more attitude which we have to take care of perfectionism and fourth is enjoyment maniac attitude everything is for fun man come on there are few things to be done out of duty not for fun so these three attitudes we give up anger would be taken care of and prabhu ji uh, thank you for your signature uh, okay. on this okay on this book uh, that is civilization and transcendence i got it uh, online okay. uh, thank you okay. and uh, you bl- wow yeah <laughs> uh, bless me uh, for my uh, bhakti uh, bless me all right all the best okay now next from akshita parab mata ji yes hari krishna prabhu ji pranams pranams hari krishna um, okay prabhu ji i had uh, three questions one answer uh, one answer i just got that uh, vaishnava acharya songs or instead like people suggest uh, vishnu sahastra naam radha sahastra naam and all this takes time also and so which one is suggested so just now i would say said, uh, i would say where the songs of vaishnava acharyas okay so that got answered and uh, the next was uh, like uh, we say ki predominating deities uh, brahma vishnu mahesh so they are the deities of the modes of uh, three modes so are there consort also the predominating deities like saraswati lakshmi and durga are they also the uh, no. predominating deities no no they are they are taking on the ministries education ministries with saraswati finance ministries with the lakshmi home ministries also with lakshmi and defense ministries with durga Okay, so and we don't consider the them. Okay, we don't consider them with the modes of material nature. No, 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 no. Okay, and uh, Prabhuji, one doubt was from uh, Chaitanya Charitamrit that uh, it is said in the Adi Lila second chapter uh, that certain doctrines which are like sect- uh, sectarian it should be avoided, uh, which are dangerous doctrines like Kapil, Dattatreya. So why is it so? Like Kapil and Dattatreya are also mentioned. actually some of the doctrines like like that of dattatreya uh dattatreya is uh, uh, doctrine is it is not where it is little it is somewhat kind of atheistic kind of doctrine that's why it explains about the nature the nature is working very nicely but not really the master of the nature and it, it lacks the flavor of bhakti the science of bhakti so that's why it's a sectarian kind of thing like buddhism okay. buddhism also is atheistic thank philosophy. you prabhu ji mm-hmm. yeah yes ओके प्रभु जी थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा ओए कृष्ण क्षेत्र प्रभु प्लीज हरे वत प्रणाम प्रभु हरे कृष्णा इज एक्सेप्ट माय हंबल ओबिसेंस टू यू गॉड ब्रदर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम एडमंटन जस्ट हैड अ क्विक क्वेश्चन लाइक एनी कमेंट लाइक यू नो प्रभु पाद मेंशन सेक्स लाइफ फॉर प्रोक्रिएशन नॉट फॉर रिक्रिएशन या एंड देन यू नो you mentioned on prasadam like um, prasadam should be in the mode of goodness but we see in some centers do uh-huh. though we preach and they still have you know spicy prasadam like what what would be Tasty, your suggestion what i think yeah that's true so so it's still spicy and it's it's hard to to communicate with the devotees we we tell them prasadam should be you know um but we still see you know they put the so no, probas said going? one sense gratification is allowed for the devotees one sense gratification prasad <laughs> okay so don't worry about that yeah so that is allowed 
so what can be done there can be one spicy vegetable because you know there are devotees who like spicy food but there can be one boiled vegetable also like in our temple we make this we have one spicy vegetable one boiled vegetable and we know that there are 10 15 devotees they like this boiled vegetable so we make in a separate bucket there is boiled vegetable and they like it so there can be another item little bit depending on the 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 number of the consumers who are going to honor the the, the boiled item we can go for this that's okay but yes one sense reservation is allowed you know we can't say okay all food items should be boiled because there are a couple of people who are not having not so healthy body now this is injustice to those who are having healthy body so prabhu please boil oh no we want oil no boil <laughs> really appreciate your sense of humor thank you thank you thank you sir okay priya biswas mata ji prabhu ji can you please read my questions i put it on the chat box acha priya 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 biswas please read my question also okay priya has written who is arishtanemi arishtanemi is one of the demons i heard that gasev also called bhadrayan yes that's true but i searched on google in that they say that they are, they both are different no but right they are they are same one of my friend asked me that she wants to take diksha from you okay from me amugila das oh really may krishna protect her she said that she is ready to wait also please explain the baat see honestly speaking i amugila das is not going to take sanyas i just happily stay in brahmachari life i can't be grihastha because i am not so responsible i can't be sanyasi because i am not so pure and i cannot be guru at all at all maybe after 10000 years once this krishna conscious movement is over then i'll become a sanyasi then i'll become my guru because that's my age now the kalyuga yes no prabhu ji time this this chaitanya mahaprabhu movement is happening so bona fide gurus are required genuine gurus are required i am not that good so that's why i no, the way ji, i am you are today, our shiksha guru that's your kind of attitude of... guru but i am not Because going to give you we come to krishna consciousness see i came i my job was to hand you over to these great devotees and shri prabhupad that was my job but i start initiating people no i can't bless people with such bad fortune that they got guru like me so that's why i am not going to give initiations ever in my life i will give shiksha the way i am giving today for the rest of my life i'll continue as a, as a brahmachari as the way i am today but uh, neither i'll become a sanyasi nor a guru so if in case you are expecting that one day amog lila prabhu is going to initiate me yes then you are in illusion uh, let me take you out of the illusion i can always there always be there to support you help you guide you remove your ambiguities i am there to serve you but uh, uh, i am not going to be a diksha guru ever in my life so that's why i'm just making my uh, making the expectations of the others very clear so it is not that you are aspiring from from, from me one day amog lila pu will give me initiation now it is 15 years past and now when i say no i am not giving initiation and your heart is broken oh no amog lila prabhu ji you broke our heart so i am right now i'm telling you i'm not going to initiate ever in my life so that's why i choose there are so many great paramahamsa devotees in our iskon baba my god i am like a small bacteria i am like a small corona virus before them so that's why take their shelter take their health and i am there in your journey towards krishna i'll try my level best to serve you but uh, i would not be becoming guru ever in my life hari krishna may krishna bless you and protect you from false gurus hari fake gurus krishna hari, hari krishna. krishna prabhu ji okay hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna to you mata ji dandar pranam prabhu ji <laughs> It's very nice to hear your class, Prabhuji. I after long time I logged in in Bhakti Sangha because I am traveling, as you know, and I am in uh, near Pune Temple now. The Chandan Yatra is going on, big festival. Yeah, nice, wonderful, and very wonderful class, Prabhuji. Very beautiful answer. Thank you so much for coming in, and I am living life without WhatsApp. So devotees are taking care of Bhakti Sangha. I don't wow. have any speakers for them, but so 
because my phone broke in Vrindavan. So, wow. I... <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> you got your phone broken in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan. Very good. Sing, <laughs> dance. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everyone. So, Mohini Madhuri has got one question. Is it Mohini Madhuri? I think it's already 6 8. So, Madhuri, what's up? Should you stop the class now? Yes. Hello, uh, Prabhuji. Yes. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Uh, uh, Prabhuji, I keep my question in the chat box about Kanti Mala. Uh, can one keep Kanti Mala while having union with the uh, life partner? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Some devotee says yes, some devotee says no. No, no, it's not, it's not like that. It's not like that. Yeah. In Thank fact, you. one can have one's, one's genu, the, the sacred head also, it can be wrapped around the ear. In case it's that, that's not then, then after the, the physical exchange, the genu can be changed. But Kanti Mala remains forever. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, then Nabhat Pranav. Hare Krishna. Okay, so Krishna Bandhu Ananya. Last question. Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, Pranam. <laughs> so, my question is about initiation. Prabhuji, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, Prabhuji. So, Adar Shampradaya me jo hote hai, Guru Dev, hamara karna me, do karna me mantra dete hai, and o ye o jab karte hai. So, hamara Shampradaya me bhi aise hote hai kya, Harinam Diksha ke shamae? Good. Good question is that in other sampradayas, there are, there are gurus who give uh, mantras in the ears. So in Iskon also, does that happen? Yes, absolutely. So Gayatri mantras are given in the ear. Or at least a guru and disciple, they are alone. And then the guru gives the, the Gayatri mantras along with the meaning, how to recite them. So so these mantras are given, Gayatri mantras. And then Hare Krishna mantra is given. Shama... I'm sorry? Achha, only Mala and uh, Harinam. Only Mala and Hari, Hare Krishna Mahamantra is given to us by our Guru. Yes, exactly. But but for Gayatri, we have got this Janeu. And then there is a Brahma Granthi. On this Brahma Granthi, we wrap it around. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times each Gayatri. And this mantra is given in the year. Yeah. Okay. Okay, All right, goodies. Thank you all very much. Shreemad Bhagavatam ki jai, Jagat Guru Shreela Prabhupada ki jai, Nithai Gopnamad. Hari 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 Shila Prabhu Padji ki jai. Praise the Mogalila Prabhu ki jai. To all the devotees. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you so much.